Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Clau and today I'm going to show you my recipe book and how I'm printing it for those who'd like to do something similar. Let's see it. This is a Happy Planner recipe planner. I just changed the covers to make it more durable. I wanted to type in my recipes with a typewriter, but I don't have one, so I'm doing it in my computer. Small recipes will be added in cards like this, using the same process. If you'd like to see a video about that, please let me know in the comments below. What I like to do is to take the recipes I've made from this book, which in my opinion is the best cookbook, I translate them and add them to my happy planner. So it would be easier and faster to follow when I do the recipes again, especially if I've forgotten any word in English and also to have the temperature in Celsius. The first thing you need to do is to scan the pages or cards you want to use in your recipe binder or planner. I'm going to do my file in Illustrator but you can use almost any software where you can insert images and text. The most important thing to do before importing the images is to make sure the file has the correct measurements. In this case, it's 7 inches wide and 9.25 inches tall. Now I'll write the translation. And one thing I like to do is to write in which page of the book I can find the recipe, in case I need to consult something or see if they have any other variations I haven't tried yet. Now that I have the recipe, I just need to hide the image and save it as a PDF file. Now it is ready, so let's print it. We need to change the settings so it prints in the correct size. You may need to make a personalized setting if it is not a common size, like mine. And finally, make sure it prints without adjusting. Now that I'm ready, I'll put the paper in here and print. And that's it! Now I can add this sheet to my recipe planner. This process also works with any other size of paper or recipe cards. You just have to make sure that the file and printing settings are the same. And that's how I print my recipes, with the ones I've done in the last 4 years. Thank you for watching this video, if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And remember, your comments are always welcome. See you next week, bye!